this way. All right, let's go on with the balance sheet. We have a, a few more minutes. So we'll continue with the balance sheet um, and talk about some of those key uh, items. This is a snapshot of the state of the business at a point in time. It shows how much your assets are, what you own, how much cash you have, short-term assets and the like. Um, it also is the one that is the thing that you have you can't owe more money to banks or to uh, to shareholders than you uh, than you have in assets. So your balance, your liabilities and equities have to man have to balance uh, with your assets, and that's why it's called a balance sheet. It has the the this fundamental equation of accounting about it. Um, Top of the sheet, they, they essentially you know, on a balance sheet, the assets are listed in de decreasing order of liquidity, which means that you can turn them into cash money. Uh, it's easier for, to turn the things at the top into cash money, harder to turn things at the bottom into cash money. It takes time and you might have to take a discount. Um, but the current assets are the ones that are easiest to turn into money, the first of which is cash or temporary investments. Oftentimes, instead of holding cash, someone will, a company will buy what's called marketable securities, which simply means they buy money in an account so that they can earn some return on it. They put their money in an account, I should say. They buy stocks or bonds or whatever, mutual funds, and then what they need it, they can sell it quickly because it's liquid. It also includes things like accounts receivable, which means accounts receivable is that people owe you money. Um, an inventory, which is also something that's in your warehouse that if you need to, you can go out and have a discounted sale. You can sell everything for half price and get some cash. So current assets are things that you could get cash for relatively quickly in the course of the time period of your income statement. Um, we just talked about, um, about accounts receivable. In addition, you have long-term assets like the trucks we talked about. If you have a building, if you put a building in place and you build it out with some additional structures and whatever, those are also um, the more fixed assets, but obviously it's harder to get the money from them. Like you put a truck, you'd have to put it out there and get it sold or whatever. Um, or if you put new construction in your building, all of those things are going to end up costing you a bit more money. But things like equipment or these, 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 um, pieces of machinery are what we mean by property, plant, and equipment. The kinds of equipment that are needed to run the business, and if you're going to sell them, then you have to uh, take some time and energy to turn them into cash. And it's usually only done if you're liquidating the business. Um, the other side of the balance sheet is the liability side. Again, in, these are in um, decreasing order of liquidity. Current liabilities are things that you have to pay within the short time period, usually the period of a year, because you're talking about annual statements. This would be trade credit. You have to pay your suppliers, the folks that brought in the roses. They're not going to be happy if you push them off for a year. They want their money within you know, 30 days or whatever. Um, that's the accounts payable side. You might also borrow short-term money from a bank to make payroll or whatever while you were waiting to close your books. Um, or you might want to give an advance to somebody, so you have to borrow some money to do that. But you're paying them off relatively quickly. And of course, you're also, and this is one of those more detailed accounting things, you should be accruing expenses. Like, for example, if you pay somebody every month, but you're doing it a weekly income statement, you're going to be accruing payroll expenses until the end of the month when you pay people and then you reverse that account when you give them their paychecks. So those are other liabilities, all the people you owe, you know, people that work for you or whatever, contractors, you, you, they've done the service, you haven't paid them yet, so you have to have them done as current liabilities. Um, you also have long-term liabilities if you go and borrow money from the bank, whatever, or you sell bonds, um, or if you have real estate and a mortgage associated with that, or even trucks where you might own of a truck that you have to pay over a number of years. You net out the liabilities from the assets and you have the owner's equity or the shareholder's equity. Um, this is what the owners have put in, but also the accumulated profits from the business that have not yet been taken out. So if you use, if I'm running my flower shop and I have $10,000 worth of profit and I use that as a down payment on a truck, the 10,000 stays in as owner's equity, that's retained earnings from the profit, and then I have a truck 
that I now have that's part of the biz name, right? Um, it's different than um, than other situations where companies that have stock to investors because it's easier to access for the individual who owns the company if it's a small business. Sometimes there are also for larger companies multiple uh, types of stock, different classes of stock, like we mentioned preferred shares before and common shares. Um, you also could preferred shares generally have something else in a large corporation and generally means that they also get an interest payment. Although first the banks get paid, but their the preferred shares might get an interest payment as well, and then they can convert them into common shares. Common shares have inherent value in the market or to be sold, uh, but they also um, have uh, a voting, generally a voting rights. But you can also have common shares that have different voting rights. Some shares have voting rights that are one vote, and sometimes you can have 10 votes or something like that. So that all varies in the large companies. But the value of them, the amount of money that's in the company from purchasing of those um, shows up as the shareholder equity or the um, owner's equity on that particular line. Um, the last thing I'll talk about quickly here.